He's gonna give you something so you know what's on his mind. Welcome to Ms. Mojo, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 funny Justin Timberlake Saturday Night Live moments. So great, so great, celebrities playing games, nothing better, so fun! Before we begin, we publish new content every day. So be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. For this list, we're looking at all of JT's appearances on SNL over the years, and choosing the skits and songs that made us laugh the hardest. Number 10, his Irving Hillman impression. Why do you think you didn't win? I blew it in the swimsuit competition, Seth. I wore a three-piece. The daily newspaper comic Kathy is known for two things, its eponymous main character and its unfortunate longevity. Once beloved, Kathy was long past its expiration date when it was finally canceled in 2010. What have you learned? None of it matters, Seth, because I've got my husband Irving, and he thinks I'm pretty sexy. Right, Irving? You bet. In this classic Weekend Update sketch, Justin appears opposite Andy Samberg's Kathy as her beau Irving Hillman, who professes a somewhat unhealthy attraction to Kathy's endless complaining and willful frumpiness. You should see what delights are hidden under that acrylic sweater. <laughs> and four layers of sweaty support hose. <laughs> and when she finally takes those ace bandages off of her ankles. I retain a lot of fluid. She does things that blow my mind. In the end, though, Fellow cartoon woman Jessica Rabbit, played by Jessica Biel, comes along and steals Irving away. JT's gleeful willingness to lean into Irving's weird body language and inappropriate bedroom eyes is what really sells the bit. Hello, Jessica Rabbit. <laughs> Number 9. Target Lady – Classic Peg Who could possibly be friends with Kristen Wiig's loud, self-absorbed, overly chipper Target Lady? Peg. That's who. Did somebody say weird? Pig! Justin Timberlake's equally self-absorbed, gray-haired woman in a neck brace makes the perfect foil for wig, as the two irritate and confuse customers while discussing their strange personal lives. So, what brings you to Target, Miss Thing? Two words, potato sticks and car earl. <laughs> I got a date tonight. Yeah, Peg's bizarre and improbable stories fly fast and thick always ending with a self-congratulatory classic peg. So there I was, laughing with my comfort slacks around my ankles by the fish tank at Target. Classic peg. <laughs> Combined with SNL's trademark peppering of gross-out humor, this time in the form of a body-waxing appointment and a pair of fuzzy pink handcuffs, the Target lady and peg combination brought this sketch to new heights. Well, listen, I gotta go. I gotta get to my waxing. My barber bush is getting bigger by the minute. <laughs> Number 8. Britney Spears' Monologue Appearance Way back in 2002, when JT was dating fellow superstar Britney Spears, he made a surprise appearance on stage with her during her opening monologue as SNL's host of the week. What are you doing? Uh, I'm Britney Spears. <laughs> I'm dancing and singing. Uh, security! <laughs> In the routine, Chris Kattan enters before Britney, impersonating her and claiming he's no longer a virgin since last night. Well, I think I can announce that I'm no longer a virgin. Thank you. <laughs> the pop princess eventually calls Justin out to clear things up, and he tells Britney that he really had a good time the night before. Listen, uh, I just want to say I've had a really great time last night. <laughs> Justin, that wasn't me. When Britney responds that it was Catan and not her, Jainty turns to the impersonator and, well, just watch. Catan, you gotta stop doing that, man! I know, I know. The idea that it's happened before is what makes the joke so funny. Britney Spears is here. Stick around, we'll be right back. Number 7, Bony Vare Impression. When Jay-Z and Beyonce had their first child, Blue Ivy, SNL used the opportunity to showcase all their best pop star impressions in a sketch where celebrities come to pay their respects to the newborn. Cross, thank you so much for coming. All my love and congratulations. Justin Timberlake steals the scene as the royal family's final guest, Bon Iver, complete with a tweed jacket and unfortunate comb over. And we have one last guest, Bon Iver. <laughs> He offers to sing a song he wrote for the baby, but my Rudolph's fiance responds that they were just about to put her to sleep. Trust me, this'll help. <laughs> As Bon Iver starts singing a quiet song, that eventually devolves into unintelligible garbage. Baby, like the is real gravy. He 
he ultimately puts himself to sleep instead. Oh no! Bon Iver put himself to sleep! Number 6. Mother Lover Justin Timberlake's track record as a collaborator with The Lonely Island is just about perfect. In each case, he appears alongside Andy Samberg as the two play sleazy womanizers dressed in awful early 90s outfits. The duo backs each other up with increasingly inappropriate lyrics about their sexual fantasies. In the case of Mother Lover, they sing about the possibility of having sex with each other's mothers, played by Susan Sarandon and Patricia Clarkson, as an impromptu Mother's Day present. Even more so than its follow-up song, Three Way the Golden Rule, Mother Lover exemplifies the hilarious gag of two gross dudes enabling and encouraging each other's ideas far past the point of sanity. Number 5. Celebrity Family Feud This regular sketch is always funny, but the episode featuring JT and his real-life friend Jimmy Fallon takes the cake. Jimmy Fallon! Oh my god, oh my god. Fallon plays Big Bang Theory star Jim Parsons, who remains in character as Sheldon, while Timberlake plays the part of The Tonight Show host himself. What makes the bit so memorable is JT's spot-on impression of Fallon, complete with kinetic hand gestures and facial expressions, and the way that the real Jimmy Fallon completely loses it. So many. They're so great. So great, my man. The brief shot of him doubled over in silent laughter behind his podium is enough to make anybody giggle. Number 4. Veganville and More Sometimes repetition only makes things funnier. Did somebody say veg out? <laughs> Our favorite former NSYNC star is well aware of this, and has made several appearances on SNL over the years to perform essentially the same bit, which somehow gets funnier every single time. Aw, oh, veg out! <laughs> no meat, say chic. Veg out! Bring it on down to Veganville. In the Ville skits, a local business owner tries to advertise some kind of product for sale, but gets upstaged by the sexy back singer, who appears in a ridiculous costume dancing and singing about another business that offers the same product. The goons all on my plate, spirulina all on my shape. Whether it's Omeletteville, Rappinville, or Veganville, with Timberlake dressed as a giant block of tofu, he always sells us on the product and his goofy performance alike. I like big brats, and I cannot lie to you about it. Uh, yeah, actually, you know what? That, that's pretty hard, actually. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. Number three, the Barry Gibb talk show. This recurring sketch cast Jimmy Fallon as a nervous, violent version of Bee Gees member Barry Gibb and Justin Timberlake as his meek brother Robin. Every time you speak, it feels like someone's dropping a car battery on my sack. <laughs> my God, do you ever listen to yourself? I'm glad you lost the election. <laughs> <laughs> Do you have anything to add? Nah. <laughs> From Barry's bizarre sing-song inflection and explosive temper, to Robin's lack of opinion on just about everything, it's a routine that plays to the duo's strengths. Cross, burst of Montage, talking about cross, burst of Montage. Robin chiming in to sing harmony on Barry's vicious threats to his guests is our favorite part, but all of it works which is probably why these best buds have come back to it so often over the past 15 years. From the talk show, talk about Number 2. Single Ladies Dancers Take Beyoncé, as herself, dealing with Paul Rudd as a difficult music video director for her iconic mega-hit Single Ladies, add male backup dancers played by Justin Timberlake, Bobby Moynihan, and Andy Samberg, and you get this instant classic. The humor here comes from the dance visuals, which start out fluid and synchronized, but then go predictably haywire. As an accomplished dancer himself, JT's movements are especially sharp, and he helps make the whole thing one of the strangest and funniest interpretations of the song to date. We've also got to hand it to Beyonce for managing to keep a straight face the entire time. Number 1. Dick in a Box Hey girl, I got something real important to give you, so just sit down and listen. What more can be said about this song? 
The result of JT's first and most famous Lonely Island collaboration, this icky R&B jam about a very special Christmas present went viral in a huge way. Gonna give you something so you know what's on my mind. From the cornball outfits to the oily vocals, this is the music video that spawned two direct sequels and a thousand Halloween costumes. It's my dick in a box. My dick in a box, babe breakdown of the steps involved in packaging and presenting the unusual gift perfectly mimics the step-by-step -step lyrics of 90s pop jams, like Brian McKnight's Back at One. One. Cut a hole in a box. Two. Put your junk in that box. Three. Make her open the box. And that's the way you do it. And the facial expressions of Timberlake, Andy Samberg, and their ladies Maya Rudolph and Kristen Wiig put it all over the top. Yeah, well, well, well. Do you agree with our picks? Check out these other great clips from Ms. Mojo and subscribe for new videos every day.